Starting things off, taking a look at Cooper Island, the BVI, as we got going here for our Wednesday morning. Notice a little bit of the ripple action going on there for the water. We are seeing a bit of wind out there. The movement of the palm trees, a sign of that too. And some uh, rain showers pushing on through before that sunshine did come on out. That'll be the story of these next couple of days. Expecting some sunshine, a few rain showers push on in. But as we head into the weekend, we'll be seeing a few changes across the region. We'll get to that in just a second. But taking a look at our satellite across the Caribbean. A large low pressure system affecting western Cuba. Some more storms and showers popping up here on the Atlantic side of Central America and Mexico. Further off to the north, showers and storms through the western Bahamas. Much of Hispaniola towards our region actually uh, not seeing too, too much in the way of moisture, but there is a little disturbance here pushing through the lesser until he's providing showers up into uh, the U.S. and British Virgin Islands. Trinidad and Tobago staying dry. ABC Island staying dry here for the most part. And we do have a uh, tropical storm further off to the east. That is Tropical Storm Philippe, latest advisory, 45 mile per hour wind. So it's a weak tropical storm at that, but it's expected to push further northwest and then eventually a little bit further off down to the south. So we'll be working into our region as we head into the weekend, but likely only a tropical depression status or even just a general low pressure system. Won't be seeing quite as much uh, in the way of those strong winds or storm surge. Uh, so that's, of course, very good news as we continue in the weekend. Nonetheless, still downpours expected and likely Another storm system developing behind it. Now 90% chance that this will become Rena as we head over the course of this next day or so following a similar track to Philippe. Just providing a lot of moisture towards our region. Future cast as we continue into our Thursday afternoon. Seeing showers and storms through Central America, Western Cuba, the same kind of suspects over there. As we head towards the northeast though, you can see uh, the circulation associated uh, with, with Philippe uh, decaying just a bit and kind of just two storms kind of riding off each other's moisture, trying to push into our region as we continue into our Saturday. Still holding off a bit of that rain, but nonetheless, it will be working here at some rate, likely for uh, the end of the weekend early next week. 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday, looking okay here, but by Thursday, more widespread showers will be possible here really for the uh, later afternoon and evening. Do have heat advisory slated too, so those temperatures a little bit above average. Want to Make sure we're drinking plenty of water. Future rainfall amounts are expecting a whole lot from this first batch, maybe on the uh, order of a quarter of an inch or more, depending if you get some of those heavier downpours. That'll be through our Friday time frame, but more rain expected here for the weekend. The winds coming from the east could be seeing some stronger gusts associated with the storms that roll on through as we head towards our Thursday night. But besides that, not expecting a whole lot in terms of the wave action. You see the deeper shades of blue kind of sticking around here, so not getting too much of that wind just quite yet and not really expecting too much wind with Philippe as it pushes through this weekend and beyond. Thursday forecast, plenty of sunshine. Watch it out for late afternoon and evening storms and showers. 88 up towards 92 there into St. Croix. So temperatures very similar to what we have been seeing our next five days. As you can see, those precip chances going up as we head towards Saturday. We're at 50%. And then as we head towards Sunday, looking like quite a wash out there, 70% chance of rain showers continuing into Monday. So uh, we have been seeing some drought conditions, of course, here in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Looking like we're getting some relief with rain coming this weekend, but got to watch out for that flooding risk as well. All right. Thanks for keeping us informed, AJ. Yeah.